Now, a lot of people like to know the answer to this. What was the first car park you made? The first car park? The very first car Let park I think now. I, I should know that. Was it a top arm, or was it fender braces, or what was it exactly? It was fender braces. Fender braces. The front fender braces was second. The back ones are the smaller, you know. Mm -hmm. Those were the first ones that come up and curved okay. over, yes. which you make them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the first. And then uh, I f went to the next car show, and there was a rusty front fender brace. Mm -hmm. And I bought that. And um, the old nose. that's starting mm -hmm. at the first pair oh, mm -hmm. of uh, 31 Roadsters. And then we got into Cabernets mm -hmm. and yes. and so forth. Okay. And all them patterns are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, Is, did you like one of those tops better than another? I, I think Ron's got a favorite, but... I don't, I didn't have any favorite. You didn't? They were just a project to do. Okay. okay. I did drill a lot of holes before we got a mm -hmm. punch to drill holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. I made a drill press. I made a drill press. And then finally, I run across one of the old-fashioned drill presses yeah, I like to carry on. Did with you for a while. Yeah. You were the only one. You and I worked together on these parts. Yeah. And when, when did you actually start making the top one itself? And which one was it? Top irons came because I saw the same old story. A guy was picked up a set that was been laying out in the hog lot, look like, for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course the top had deteriorated and and uh, he said he found it in a fence row. Hmm. Oh, it undoubtedly okay. blew off in the right. out when he was farming and right. driving across the field for some reason. And uh, he said, boy, this is a rusty mess. I wish I could get a good one. And I said, hang on. Oh, I got his name and address. And the braces. How do you shear your material? you have a, a metal shear? Uh, we don't shear them. They're lasered out. Or they're uh, lasered out. Not lasered out, but... Uh, uh, plasma, plasma, plasma cutter. cutter. Plasma cutter. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, the plasma cutter. Well, I made a sheet metal shear. You remember that? I mm -hmm. made my shear out of road scraper blades. I made a shear. Yep. Six foot long. Wow. And we're good for car parts. It sure did. Of course, now it's lasers and oh, plasma yeah. cutters and mm -hmm. get your drawings and then make yes. your dies. I went to the car shows all the time, mm -hmm. and I saw these guys standing around digging through parts. And um, I heard one guy say, I wished I could find one that's not so rusty. He was looking at fender braces for the front fenders. Uh -huh. And I thought, huh, I'll go over there and buy that. And then I got a pattern. Mm -hmm. And you probably own them patterns now. Yeah, they're probably still there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's mm -hmm. the way I got because I wanted to make it exactly like Ford. Okay. Exactly. And mm -hmm. we did. And you do too, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He used to go to the car shows and he'd find a top arm and say, okay, that's a Ford top arm and I don't have one of them. He picked up and that's uh, what he'd start making top arms out of. Yeah, get the, bring home the pattern of original. Mm -hmm. That's the way to make something and make it right. That's how he did it. Let me, let me show you this. And how long would it take to make a die? Um, it's according to what kind of die you're talking about. Yeah, it depends on uh, if you're making a pressing die and all to press out a part. Uh, uh -huh. How did you ever come up with the idea of making that 36 heavy front fender tie? <laughs> fender fit brace? Yeah, that heavy front, that big thing, about yay big. With the big curve one. in it? Yeah, that sucker. I don't have one here. I wish I'd have saved more of my parts uh, just to show. I do have only one part over here. Mm -hmm. A fan, fan blade for the motor. <laughs> fan blade. I, I've got one of those over here. That's probably the only thing that mm -hmm. I still have. Okay. Of a, Parts that, that Don and I are. I always wondered how you made that die. How you come up with that? That was amazing. The fan? No, the oh. the heavy front fender brace die, the 36. The one that does duels. Yeah. One on each side. That was something else. Yeah. Well, you you bought the uh, or got the press, mm -hmm. the power press, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. hydraulic press. I the one you create, you designed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they designed, the company designed. Well, products. but Ron does all of his work out of stainless, and mm -hmm. this is—we actually ended up getting this. The customer sent that to us, Elmer. Well, there wasn't stainless steel back every day. Mm -hmm. It wasn't available to us. You want to know what this fits? No, I want to know. He made that. 
And it was back, uh, that particular one, is that one of you, you guys made back then? I mean, that's been a long time ago. That yeah. Was yeah. So you used to, weld, used to weld these on here? Well, that was the only way we could do it at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a 32, correct, Ron? That's, that's 32 Cabernet. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. 32 Cabernet, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's your bow, wood bow. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think Paul Ezra was making some of the bows, the wood bows, wasn't he? Because we, we never got he, into wood. Yeah, I don't know if he's making the wood or, uh, or who was making the wood bows at that time. But he was making bumpers. For I know the, he made bumpers. For the Model A. And then he started making the 29 Roadster. But whenever stainless steel came out that you could polish up, mm -hmm. then you didn't have to worry about chrome. Mm -hmm. And boy, did people like that, you know last a lifetime and still be shiny. Mm -hmm. We have people that will call that have had top irons for quite a number of years and certainly they are ones that Ron's done. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we've talked about is it's 25 years this year he'll have been doing mm -hmm. top irons mm -hmm. going to work for you. Do you remember when he came in to actually be and to apply for the job? Well, yeah, I remember when you left. No, no, when I left, when I when I started. Oh, when you started here. Yeah, remember I I talked to Pat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know when. Um, that was back in 1987. When you first started. Mm -hmm. 87. Mm -hmm. it sounds right. I came in and and you and Pat was there. Mm -hmm. I think. happened when you found a part and you decided to take it back to your shop mm -hmm. and make it but what would happen if you just didn't get it right did you that just stay <laughs> we didn't do that it's too hard to make things wrong mm -hmm. I've always had that theory didn't I mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more costly to make it wrong than it is to make it right mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep. was there a really hard piece to make that was harder than well, another piece? The stanchion post started out hard because uh, mm -hmm. the, the technology of pressing stainless steel. Mm -hmm. But uh, didn't I have a foundry while you were here? I poured castings. Mm -hmm. um, Did you find that there was an easy piece to make? That was in the fender braces, wasn't it? Oh, I suppose. That probably is one of the easiest ones. There's a little small, thin one, 16 gauge steel or something like that. A little pad brace, as well as the curved braces, isn't there? Uh, 33, 34, tail light bracket, is that what you're talking about? It's about yeah. yay big, about like that. It's yeah. Kind of yeah. flat, and then it's got a. It's made out of sheet metal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. As long as you can form it with, come down on it, I. Um, that's quicker, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, um, I don't think so. Ron picked up real quick on mm -hmm. when I had a tool. What different tools were you to use? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought the welding would be the hardest thing, but you taught me how to weld, and I learned that pretty fast. But I, I wasn't the best welder. Use wire. It took. Well, yeah, we took. It was a MIG welder. Yeah, because yeah, um, we, we started out with the stick welders. Yeah. We done a lot of stuff with stick welders because that's what there was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with the wire welders with the flux on the inside the wire and stuff like that. And that worked out a little bit better. Right?